what we're doing now is looking at what happens when the uh, alternating stress <clears throat> still has a, a, a constant amplitude, if you will, in terms of from its mean value, but its mean value is not zero. So we have this kind of a case then. So we the stress of being applied is has a maximum value as we've indicated here, and uh, and it's got a minimum value that comes down to here. So obviously the mean stress is at this location, and we still have our same sigma alternating and again emphasizing that this is at sigma mean stress. So what we do in order to try to figure out uh, what are, you know what how are we going to know if this is our state of stress that we have in, there, in this case whether it's going to fail or not because the mean has changed. So the way there's a couple there's more than a couple ways but Two of the main ways of looking at this is to use these curves that you'll see here. We plot on the vertical scale the alternating stress, which is this one over here, and then the mean stress here, which is this one. So when we have a, a failure due to yield, then that will be one where well, if we have zero uh, mean stress then our life is S sub E, our endurance limit. If we have uh, failure by yielding as being our criteria then uh, that is going to be what we call our uh, failure by yield or by ultimate strength. So the Goodman diagram is this one and the Soderberg diagram is this one. The names are you know sort of important but the, the idea is is that they're based on having the mean stress at the yield strength or the ultimate strength and you only get one cycle at these situations to be down here at this very corner uh, of alternating stress. So how do I know if this, if my situation is such that it's safe or not? What I'm looking for is it, when I plot the mean stress here and I plot my alternating stress, is it on the, this inside here what's safe on the Soderberg and then you can add additional if it's on the Goodman. If you want to be more conservative then you use the, the Soderberg one. So here's what it looks like then. I just picked out of the blue um, we've got a endurance limit of 35 and you got a yield strength of 50 KSI and uh, so the applying the mean stress on the horizontal and the alternating stress on the vertical. So what I have then is I have shown you on the previous page is this and I'm saying is is that my peak stress here is 30 KSI and my minimum stress is a negative 2 KSI. Now my mean stress here then is not at zero so my mean stress is equal to the max 30 minus the min or plus the min which is a minus 2 over 2 and I get uh, 28 over 2 and that's 14 KSI. So if I take my mean thing here and this is 10 and this is going to be about 14 so it's we're going to plot then vertically on that line what our alternating stress is. So what's our alternating stress? Well that's pretty straightforward. It's uh, 30 here minus 14 and I've got 16. So if I move my alternating stress here, here's 10, here's 16, you see I'm right here and I'm inside and I'm safe. 
well, the material supposedly is safe. So now let me change it just a bit more. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to bring up another one that I have down below here. And I'm going to have a case that's like this. Where the minimum is tension and the maximum is tension, what does that do to my situation? So the numbers I'm going to use are 30 KSI. Uh, let me go back to my red. This is being 30 KSI. And this being 10 KSI. So what's my mean stress here? Well, it's the average of those two, which is 30 plus 10 over 2, which is 20. So now if I move my mean here to like 20, uh, what's my alternating? Well, my alternating is the 30 minus the 20, and that's 10. So, uh, whoops. <laughs> Did that kind of strangely, didn't I? Let's just let you do that. It's 30 minus 20, and that's 10. And so if I move now my... Uh, this one here to 10 you see now if I do this one and I do my red that one's okay so um, what happens then if I change it some more what if I change it to you now I'll change my colors here to something else blue and I'm going to use 30 and zero. So this will be right on this line right here. So what's my sigma mean? Well, it's 15 KSI. And what am I sigma alternating? Will be 15 KSI. So now when I move this over here, I've got 15 here. So that moves it over there. But this moves this up to about here also. Do I have that right? Yep. So now I'm setting right here. Well, you can get to a point with where the the uh, ratios are such that this will take you right up into there, you know, really close, or right across the line, and it's not safe. And here, you know, you're really close. This is really dangerous to be that close without a factor of safety. So you just have to play around with the numbers and, and see what happens, and we'll be doing that tomorrow. Thanks.